Other interesting political news, you have Trump shutting down an ABC reporter who accused him of being racist against African Americans. Now this comes to us thanks to Johnny Mega originally over on X Twitter, and was then reposted by the Hodge twins, which they say, quote, Trump just dunked on this woke lady that works for the ABC. And this is uh, a little less than a minute long, and truth be told, his voice is infinitely better than mine. You got Trump sitting in the oat with his uh, good old suit on with a red tie. As he might say, looking flawless and classy beyond anyone on the stage, obviously. And they got uh, three ladies who are, eh, interesting enough, they got some interesting colors. One gal's in a blue suit, one's in a black suit and a skirt, and one is in a pink suit. Well, at least it's unique, unique some unique colors. Without too much further ado. Use words like... You have used words like animal and rabbit to describe black district attorneys. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. You've had dinner with a white supremacist at your Mar-a-Lago resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner, a first question. <laughs> You don't even say, hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. And I think it's disgraceful that I came here in good spirit. Uh, I love the black population of this country. I've done so much for the black population of this country. And spoiler alert, I think a lot of them like him as well, especially when you look at the statistics. They made more money when Trump was in office than his predecessor before or after his office. Truth be told, most Americans did as well. I think that's going to be a huge contributing factor of how people vote this upcoming election. Now, this went pretty well. I got 1.4 million views and 45,000 likes. Now, in terms of the comment of having someone who's racist over dinner, I believe she's most likely correlating to, uh, what was his name, uh, Nick Fuentes? And in that case, this one, he was not directly invited. Someone actually brought him along. There's a tag along, I believe, as youth might call it, to the dinner. Now, going on to the comments, one of the first ones comes from playing the memes, which did respond in meme form. So A-plus marketing in this case. You have Peter Parker, iconically from the old Spider-Man, which obviously Toby is the only Spider-Man. And he's, you know, getting spidey sense. He, everything is around him is blurred, just so he doesn't have his glasses on. And it's got the logos for CNN. Fox News, MSNBC, Reuters, and New York Times. And then when he puts his glasses on, they become trash. Getting 292 likes. You also have Alexander Hernandez say that she straight up ambushed him. That's not a serious journalist. That's an activist with an agenda. Getting 1.1,000 likes. True. See here. He says the wicked woke lady works for ABC. Getting 175 likes and her Twitter handle, little profile there. Let's see. See, there's a, someone by the name of Lens Corsetti says, here's Trump being praised by Jesse Jackson in 1999. Looks like he got a Lifetime Achievement Award. Gained 224 likes. Which, yeah, another great thing to help people wake up to the Trump derangement syndrome is just wind back the clock. Remember, back then, everyone loved him. People gave him accolades on the left and the right. And as soon as he, he, the minute he stepped into politics, they all said he was evil, racist, and a threat to democracy. Jenny Clark also says he's a beast with those hostile interviewers, gained 512 likes. One bad dude says he can never get a fair question and he always makes them regret it, so bad asking, 632 likes. Mike Sasparilla says, what did we do to deserve his greatness? We're so bad. Gained 200 likes. Based Electrician says they want so bad for Donald Trump to be racist. They so, so bad. Gained 657 likes. Which again, I'm not saying every business person is not is you know high up moral and not racist but I mean, the overwhelming majority of business owners are pure capitalist which trump was the only thing that matters is who can do the best job who can help the customer the best who could in his case who could construct the building the most efficiently and the best quality they don't care about the person's race they care about customer service profitability right that's why many companies have diverse staffs and in a lot of cases it just happens to be they hire the best off by candidates. Now scrolling down to other of the top comments, you have here you have C. Maslow Miller saying they hated this woman, or sorry, the hatred from this woman is obvious. One of the worst quote unquote reporters ever. 
Then to ask a question laced with her toxic leftist viewpoint is an attempt to elicit likes, getting 78 likes. Jay Viper says, Trump could give two shits about what color someone is, being black or white. Uh, being a black or white DA bears no bearing on him liking or that person or not. Zero, getting 187 likes. Mike and, Suz Mike and Suzanne says he did great. He just was himself and we love him for that. We have um, policy. He has a flip flopping on everything. In 26 likes. The Lord be with you says activists like this woman are poisonous to what real journalism represents, biased and disgusting. Getting 120, 104 likes. Mr. Wright says, since they are changing rules, I knew this would be a Lion's Den getting 30 likes. Drew says her, church, her first quote, quote, question proved his point, getting 80 likes. Midwest Badass says Trump 2024 getting 40 likes. Let's see here. Is there any contrarian statements? Yeah, that one guy back when Trump did a skit for WWE, this Trump going up and tackling someone, but they have the ABC logo, ABC News logo on their face. I got 10 likes. Here. Seven seven seven. Dean says, "How long? How long will pulling the race card every time continues?" Trump is no racist. And his picture compilation. Oh, it's a minute twenty long. With him, with a myriad of African American leaders in the community, athlete, athletics, businessmen, politicians, got seven likes. So overwhelming positive responses, and we'll see how many people keep buying into the old cliche. Fake news of Trump is racist. And I really think more and more people are waking up to the fact that he isn't. But I mean, let me know. I mean, I mean, I think everyone has in their circle of friends one person who has TDS or Trump derangement syndrome. And I mean, just try to, you know, be polite and you know show them these videos and just show them. I think I mean one of the best parameters for getting to know someone, a politician or whatever, is long format podcast interviews or just long format interviews and just not those but not those quick snips that could be taken out of context. But let me know in the comments, do you know anyone who still, you know, verbosely thinks Trump is an evil racist? Or do you think they'll ever truly have their minds changed? Let me know in the comments. As always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, or a comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to... Tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.